Look at that. Thank you. Uh, it's got money in it. See this? 1897. Slowly. Slow. What is this? Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and guess what? We just paid the most money we have ever paid for a store, dude, but it looks so good. I think there's a potential for a massive, massive money in this. I'm talking tens, if we're lucky, hundreds of thousands of dollars in this little unit. I cannot wait to get on the road. Let's go check it out. Let me show you what we got. So here we are guys, we're at our unit. We paid $3,400 for this unit. I know what you're thinking, right? It's gonna be a big, fat, beautiful unit, but it's a little one. Do you believe that? A five by 10 that we paid $3,400 for. Are you ready to see what we got? Let's do it. So let me tell you a few reasons why. When I saw the picture of this unit going up online, I didn't care what it cost. I'd way rather lose my money and know than not lose it, not risk it, and spend the rest of my life wondering. So, what I saw in here, one, is in the back, these are all art boxes. And the one in the front is already labeled 1897. So we already know we have at least 1800s era stuff. That right there really intrigued me. Two, this box right here, that's something about a gold cocktail set. Gold, when I see gold, I get excited. Three, you know I cannot resist old trunks. And four, just look at the pure quantity. I think a lot of people were turned off because this, they thought it had been gone through, but these boxes are still sealed. They simply fell, they just fell over. Yeah. So that's what I think a lot turned a lot of people off because I thought I was willing to lose four grand on this because I, I had to know, I, I, just, I needed to. There was no other way around it. So when we got to the auction today, there was legitimately over 100 people there. So you already knew nothing was going for a good price today. You were gonna pay out the, you know what, for a unit. So when we got here, us and this guy, we're talking about this same exact unit. This same exact one. So we really had two options. Fight each other and pay thousands more than we were gonna pay and just be angry. Or two, team up, tag up, take half the risk, and do it the smart way. We chose the logical path. So half of the unit's gonna be here, half the unit is gonna be over there. Let's pull a box out and start going through the unit and see what we got. Cause there's a lot of money invested in here. What do we have here? Well, this is a very old picture. You know what, it's black and white. People sell these, <laughs> I'm just gonna show them to you. So that's an old picture. That's kind of scary to see right off the bat. Cause I swear if we paid $3,400 for 800 frames of somebody's family, that's not gonna be a good day. It's not. Black and white photos of complete strangers will sell on eBay for as much as 10 to $20 a piece for a single picture of somebody they don't even know. There's a collector for everything. We have that one here, let's see what it says on there. Okay, that's his name, maybe. You don't maybe. need to see that. <laughs> Ooh, this is a painting. See, this is what I was hoping for right off of the bat. And it's signed right down here. That's the same last name as up there. So I'm wondering if this unit actually belonged to somebody that did the painting, not just the art collector, but somebody that actually owned them. Let's see if we can get the tape undone really quick. The beautiful thing about art is it only takes one. One piece of art could sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. It takes one. And this one right here, what does that say on it? NH what? Great bedroom? NH great bedroom? Definitely a live painting. Definitely it's like a, a watercolor paint. Yeah, you can tell it's not a print though, 100%. So that's a good sign. I like art. I like taking that crazy chance. Just that thrill. You just don't know. That's what I really love. Let's pull out another one. This one's also art though. See, that's what I like to see. I don't want to see family portrait. So we got this one out again. Very nice frame too. And again, you can 100% tell that is definitely not a print. And that is signed. And it does, this one has a little bit of information on the back. It says it's a... Whatever that is, Pound TB 531 is an 8x10. This came from Ooh. the Tommaso Fine Arts. Coast where Mesa. Framing is an art. Yeah, Newport Beach, California. What about this fancy label? 
Same thing. That's from the art gallery. That's a very good Ooh. sign to see early on. If you're already seeing art gallery, that's a very good sign. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that looks like a very old painting. We got an illegal knife too. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Let's cut this open and see what this one is. What do you think we got over here? Another expensive painting. How much? 10,000 for uh, this one? 10,000. 10,000 for all of them. 10,000 each? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that half million dollar <laughs> unit. This one is, okay, this one is gonna be a print. Yes. Goldilocks. But there's but, still. There's no date on up there hmm. either, but. All right. Nothing on the back. But still, some prints could be worth money if they're a very famous picture, so I'm not discounting that yet. Guess what? Christmas time! We got a surprise in here, guys. Neiman Marcus. Ooh, look, it's even still wrapped. How oh, sweet cool. it is. This just feels like Christmas. What do we have? Better be good gold bars, right? That's what people get for Christmas. <laughs> is it? I hope so. I usually get cold. Neiman Marcus Christmas platter. Well, that's not what I was hoping for, but it could still be worth money. Neiman Marcus is a good brand. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get this open without damaging it. All right, all right. Look at that pilgrim glass. And it says Neiman Marcus on it. I'm not gonna say it's worthless, but Christmas stuff, you know I don't usually like to find it, but the right pieces could be money. All right, let's pull out another painting, hopefully, right uh -oh. here. Another art sticker. Fine arts, ah, uh, you know my heart just thought. I saw that ended in SL, I was like, Picasso? <laughs> no, not yet, where's my illegal knife? Don't call police on us. We're trying to be good here. Let's see what we got. This one looks good too. This looks like a really nice frame. Frames on all these too. Yeah, frame jobs can be really expensive too. So, just the frames could be worth a lot of money. Is that just a? Is that a portrait or like? Mm, looks like a print. But, but still, look, I don't know. It came from a fine arts. You know, it's not like a family thing. 1978. 1978. Five year, whoever it is, five years old. So that's kind of strange, but that might be worth money too. Got the next one out. This one's actually a canvas, not a frame. So you know that's gonna be artwork, most likely. Let's get it open all the way. All right, this one, it's a koala bear. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Did that say 1978? 19, something like that. But it's a koala and it's signed Chris Field. I'm guessing that's the artist's name. Nothing on the back, unfortunately, but that's definitely a painted thing and not a print, so money. Let's pull this one out, because this one's like just there to protect whatever's in there. That's, ooh, look, it's like a military fighter jet. Let's see if I can pull it out of there. Look at that. Northrop, what does it say? Northrop 5 dash, or F5, F5 E Top Gun. That's from 1987. There's a date in the bottom corner down there. That's, um, I don't know, remember we watched a video where there's like a place where people go and sit on the mountains and you can literally see fighter jets like fly right at eye level. Yeah. That's exactly what that looks like. It's pretty cool. Last thing in that box is another one of these Neiman Marcus platters. Figure since it's Neiman Marcus. Let's see, well, let's make sure it's not broken. And not at all. Still in the box. This, this one doesn't have a sticker though, but. Yeah. It still looks very nice. And that's an expensive brand, so no telling what that's worth. This is one of the boxes that drove me to the unit. When something says gold, you just bid. You bid. So this is supposed to be a gold cocktail set of glasses, and well, it looks like that's what it is. That bottom could actually be gold for sure. Does it have any markings on it? It doesn't have any visible markings on it, no. There's not. No. No. But it looks like there might be a whole set of them in here. What is that? Oh, look at that. What is set? Yeah, there's a whole, I don't want to keep pulling it out because I don't want anything to break. But there's a whole set of like, I think like, I can see at least four cups, the smaller ones and at least two of these. So if that's real gold, that's probably some high class, high value stuff. All right, I really want to get to these paintings that are dated 1800s in the back. So let's get this big pink thing out of the way. What is that? Good question. I, uh, oh uh, well, the handle's busted. I mean. Vintage something. A vintage something, a vintage pink something. Yes. You guys, if you know, let us know what this thing's used for down in the comments, because I have no idea. Let's pull out this box right here and see if we got anything of interest. Is it upside down? No, I think that's just the top. Right, whoa. Is that whoa. Santa, what is that? 
is that? <laughs> what is this? Look at him! Look it's... at his big head. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> he what says United say? Airlines. Something of oh. Hawaii. The Menahune of Hawaii? That is Is cool. that like the mayor of Hawaii? I don't know. Hawaiian people, <laughs> help me. But there's no, like, other than this right here, there's no other markings anywhere. Oop. I just saw the mayor of Hawaii's behind. You guys want to, don't make me, I'll do it. No, YouTube will get mad at me. But I don't see any other markings on them. Just the name down there. So that's definitely something that could be worth a lot of money. All right, let's pull off this old vintage red suitcase. It's a forecast, but it feels empty. Let's check on that. And it is empty. Good call. But it looks nice, but it looks nice. Vintage suitcases, certain ones can be worth money. I can't say I've ever found a forecast before, but some of them are worth bank. All right, let's get this box right here out the way. Look at those old tags on it right there. You see that right here? Like, look how war that is. It's definitely been stored for quite a long time. That's a good sign. It looks like we have plates in here though. This is gonna be a kitchen set. Johnson Brothers, made in England, genuine hand engraved, Nordic. Sounds expensive. There was another brand, it wasn't this that we found in a storage unit that was very similar looking and made in England and it was worth like $200, remember that? It was like a little tea set, like four plates and like four tea sets was like $200. So, hoping this is something of the same because if you look in the box here, we have one, two, three, Three plates in this box right here. We sold all that stuff too. Quick too. On eBay. And you know what the crazy part is? USPS didn't break it. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. surprised. What else is in here? Oh, there's gonna be another set. Look at that. That looks more like the one that have. That looks like some fancy people stuff. You see that? This says on the back, Liberty Blue, made in England, independent tall. So this could definitely be high end stuff. And again, in this box down here, I think I see a bowl, more plates. Let's see if that's the same thing. It looks like it might all be part of the same set, actually. Because this is back to Johnson Brothers. That's what we found in the first box. So this might be one huge set, maybe a mixed set of two. Either which way, I think they're going to be valuable. All right, let's pull up this box and see what we have in there. So this blue bag that has nothing in it, okay. It's a brand, though. That's what I was about to say. It's a L-N-D-E-K. Asking the wrong one. Look at that. Mickey. So, Mickey uh, money. It's got money in it. Mickey Mouse Bank. Okay, we got silver coins in here. Cause you know, if there's quarters in here before 65, we could have silver. Let's see. Oh, Mickey, spit out the money. There's a penny that's not American right there. I can't tell what that is exactly. But I don't really see any quarter. I see a nickel. Other than that penny, so not much value in the change, but a vintage Mickey Mouse bank could definitely be money. And it looks like more toys in here too. Like, look at this old Snoopy doll. Let's see if I find a tag on her or him. No. I don't know. I'm tag on Snoopy, but I'm assuming since everything else is old, he's probably old too. Let's find a cabbage pack. Yeah, let's. What is that? I have no idea. No tags. I feel like it's a perv, you know? I'm always pulling down doll shorts, <laughs> looking at stuff. Hey, look, don't don't stare if somebody wrote something on her booty. 1723? 17, there's no way that doll is that old. There's no way it'd be in that kind of shape <laughs> in 1723. It could be. Come on, you're talking like, no, that's like before the United States independence. Just no. Let's see what's in here. What do you think this is? Oh, it's clothes, doll clothes. It's gonna be vintage doll clothes. It might go to that doll we just pulled out, actually. What is that? What's the brand on it? It's by Matt. Chatty Cathy on the shelf. Chatty Cathy? I've heard of Chatty Cathy. I don't know if it's expensive, though. That looks old, though. Look at those shoes. What else do we got going on? Is that, um, oh, what's his name? Woodstock. Woodstock, that's his name. I know he went with Snoopy. Him. And other than that, what is that? Little pocket doll? Mm. Look, look at that. It's like stuck in there. And other than that, guys, see there's some stuffed animals. A Dexter. Look, 
Some French fries. Mmm, French fry puzzle. I have to keep that oh for my myself. Gosh. I can smell the puzzle. Yeah, I can. It smells good. There's Dexter down there. Where? Right there. It is Dexter. Hi, Dexter. You know what we're gonna do to him? Dexter. Oh, that's <laughs> Broke me. his neck, sorry. He just killed my cat. Oh well, we had to. Other than that, is that Dennis the Menace? That's an old Dennis the Menace book too. <laughs> Who remembers that show? And then, little clown radio. Just a bunch of old vintage toys. One of them could definitely have value though. Check this out right here. So this looks like a very old vintage, either real baby crib or doll crib. And this is like stuff that goes with it. There's no way that's for a real baby. Look at that crib. <laughs> that would be painful, man. That would be messed up. Probably for these doll, what are these? Siamese um. twins? <laughs> They're stuck. <laughs> They're made like Look. that legitimately. Look. So pull it down, together. you don't see one. Pull it down the other way, you don't see the other. That's weird. It's like cat dog. Cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the vintage crib here and the pieces to go with it. So that's cool. Now, I want to get to one thing that definitely caught my interest. This big old trunk. I cannot resist trunks. I love them. Let's pull this out. So we got this trunk out. Check this out on the top. Look at all the stickers and different things on it. What does that say? Do not remove any sticker. Really? I'll do what I want. Don't tell me what to do with this trunk. But what do you think's in there? Gold. You think it's all gold bars? Money. All money. All right, let's do it. You ready? <laughs> slowly, slowly. Oh, what is this? More mystery? What do we got in this sheet though? Oh, what, what is that? <laughs> is that real? That feels like an animal. What? They're boots? No way! What are these? I thought that was a legitimate animal when I touched it. It's Oscar Sport. Those have to be expensive. I bet you they're expensive. See, there's a chapter That's a hundred percent. Look at the bottom. Does it have a bottom? Yeah. Yeah, they're boots. Oh my god. That's a hundred percent real fur. Like when I touched that, I swear I thought that was about to be something dead in there. Faster! That's what we're gonna do with them. <laughs> we're gonna make us some boots. So the other one's definitely in here. Yeah, the other one's right here. Oh, cool. So, some weird pair of boots. That's kind of cool. They're not weird. Yeah, they are. What is this? Ooh, more boots. What are those? Look at the bottoms of those. That is not anywhere near our era we're in now. These are old. And it looks Indian like- Indian made. That's what I'm guessing. It looks like this is stitched into it too, not printed. Again, that's definitely real fur too. What else is in here? Oh, just those pair. That's another pair of boots right there. What is this? Earmuffs. What is this? Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. It's just gloves. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Some leather gloves, though. But they definitely look like they've been used up pretty bad. A hood. Oh no, our light. You're so good. All right. This is leather by a musco deer, it says. <laughs> look at that. Made in Canada. Let me see the tag. Cool. And some more leather gloves. So I'm not thinking much on the gloves, but I'm thinking those boots could definitely be worth good money. So check out this vintage looking scale. Have you ever seen something like that? That looks really, really old. Get off your sticker. So what do you guys think these stickers are? We've been talking about this. You think that's a moving company or an antique auction house? Because it just says like, lot number blank lot number this lot number that so i was thinking auction house they're thinking movie company because both of them do it so let me know what you guys think in the comments all right i'm gonna step on it it's like excuse me one at a time <laughs> Stop. I don't do that. Scale means it, i'm gonna break it all right so look at this Table what feet. is that it's got feet table feet on it yep all right so this back here these are some of the main reasons i wanted to use you see this 1897. When I see dates that old, that vintage, I just assume no matter what it is, it's gonna hold some type of value. And if it is actually something valuable from the 1800s, that's big money. So let's start pulling these things out. So let's get this box out first. I can't quite make out um, their Jack's handwriting there. Plant. I don't know. That's what I thought it said plant, but obviously that's the weirdest looking plant I've ever seen. It's a plant. <laughs> well, the other um, sentence on there says blue nude master bath. Oh, don't say blue nude. I swear there's like some nude old guy in here. I'm suing, I'm suing. All right, let's cut this open really quick. Trust you and see what we got. Such a useful tool, right? Something's written on the back. Yep. So let's see. 
what it is on here. On the back it says Dr. 4058-19A R155. That means about as much to you as it does to me. It looks like a skier. Look at this. Sun Valley. Wasn't there a Sun Valley sticker on the trunk? There was a Sun Valley sticker on the trunk. You're right. Connections. Uh-oh. So, I don't know if that's a famous skier, if that's like a family thing. We don't really know right now. But I don't think that's all that was in this box. Oh no, there's lots more. Let's see right here. <sighs> Hold on. This thing's so cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's see what this one is. They wrapped it like crazy. Look at this. This is the kind of paper I need. It's like thick paper. Lots of paint. Van Gogh. What? Van Gogh. I don't recognize it. Every single painting I'm pulling out here, I'm just waiting. One of them are going to say Picasso on it. One of them are going to say it. I'm telling you. That's a naked lady. Don't get mad, guys. Here, let's censor. Let me censor the goods. <laughs> so, you see that? Don't get mad at me because I put my hand there. I have to censor it. There's his name right there. If anyone recognizes that, make sure you let us know. But that's cool. If they're all wrapped like that, the fact that they wrapped that one so much more than anything else, Makes me feel good about it. Let's see what this is really quick. Cut into both pieces of the tape. Is this the Picasso? Mm -hmm. It's in there. It's in there somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Still a lot. Is that what this is? Oh. Well, it's $20 price tag on that. Yeah, that's not a painting. <laughs> that's just a picture. But. Just because you see 20 and 25 dollar price tag, remember this stuff's probably been in here since who knows how long. Twenty right. dollars back in the 50s is not twenty dollars in 2020. So don't let the price tags deter you. Last one in there. Good point. What is this? That's probably a family picture, but look at that frame and it's old and black and white anyway. So check that out. What is, is that? A, what is that? Is that a signature? It is a signature on it. From, I don't know how long ago. It says 1953 on it. So I wonder again, this might not be family. This could be somebody that did something significant back in the 50s. So if anyone recognizes that again, make sure you let us know down in the comment section. Guys, this box right here is one of the main reasons I wanted this unit. I've never seen anything labeled 1897 on it. Just think about that, 120 some years ago. Let's see what's in here. Be very gentle they, with they it. They checked it. Whatever was in this box, they checked it. It's probably art they or an old picture. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that old picture. It's 97 on it. You know that's not 1997. That's definitely 1897 right there. That is pretty cool. Even though it's not art, old pictures like that are really cool to find. All right, so let's pull out this sexy looking guy here. Got some very long shorts on. Let's see who he is. Check him out. Mm. That's, he's looking good, you know? <laughs> His shorts are just a tad bit too long though. Like they're not even really short. We gotta get we gotta get the whole view once you get it out of there. Oh yeah. You ready? I thought I cut it open, but apparently they had 12 more layers of tape behind them. Ooh. Ooh, look at that sexy man there. <laughs> Woo! But that, realistically, that is some type of volleyball league and that is signed at the bottom. So. Uh, looks like Tony Selleck or Tom Selleck. I want to be honest, I just learned, what's the date that there's professional volleyball? I had no <laughs> idea. Right here, Tom Selleck, no, honorary Tom Selleck. captain. U.S. men's volleyball team. Is it Olympic? Yeah. Is that really what that so. is? That could be the Olympic volleyball so. team. Thank you, Lamar. He's a stalker. movie star. <laughs> huh? He's a movie star. How very you know? Famous movie star. Are you sure about that? 100% positive he is a very famous movie star. Just because I just looked him up. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool, though. My yeah. bad, buddy. I didn't mean to make fun of your shorts. Short. You're looking good. <laughs> but that if that's either a movie star or Olympic athlete, either which way, that could be big money. Jack, I'm not going to say his name. I'll try. De Kroof. De Kroof. Um, he was an American manufacturing executive and director and trustee to an art museum. Ooh. So. <laughs> what did you do? 
sir? <laughs> You're gonna have to answer for that. The chances of a Picasso being in there are probably way higher for finding that out. <laughs> so I went ahead and unwrapped this, and what you can see, this looks like a poster from the 1984 Olympics that was in Los Angeles. So again, guys, I mean, we're really barely making a dent in this unit, and the stuff that's coming out of it is money. And we still have at least 25, 30 boxes, if not more, over here. So you know what? I think it's gonna do good. Let's pull out the next one. So we just pulled out the next frame, guys, and check that out. Another vintage 1984 Olympic poster. And the fact that these are in these nice frames tells you that they're in great shape. So if they're selling for a big range, you definitely think we're gonna get on that higher or that range. Because both of those look to be, I mean, there's not even like bent corners or like water of any kind, any discoloration or anything. So I think it's money. All right, so this is a very big box in a very big frame. Let's try to get this out. Ooh, Whoa. fancy. Somebody owned a business. All right, that's just the paper sign. That's whatever. Oh, wow. This. The Lily Tilly Boutique. <laughs> that's definitely pretty cool. But the fact that it's somebody's personalized business, yeah. I don't know if anyone's going to want it. They Unless might want it just for Lily. the fact that it's old. The only other thing I see back here on this side as well. Packing paper. Yeah, some packing paper for us. <laughs> and it looks like part of an old bed set or an old crib or something like that. But guys, you see how much vintage items, how much money we pulled out and just think, that's maybe 25% of this unit, maybe. That's stacked from floor to ceiling, all the way in the back. The light just went out, you know why? Because it's scared <laughs> of the money that's gonna come in. Ooh. But anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.